Oh, action. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? We can't do that. It's like being a rehearsed thing. Anyway, guys, I <laughs> skip here. <laughs> We're fooling around. Got Mike here from the Crash Test Boys, and uh, he's got a new toy to show us. Oh, you want to unbox a new Flywing? Yeah. Oh, we should we explain what happened to the old one first? You can. Oh. Uh, since you figured it out. Yeah. Well, Mike had a. You know, he bought the uh, the other 450. V2. V2, the version two, uh, and. Well, he was flying it, and the thing just decided to... Well, you tell the story. What did it do? It just went crazy on you? And... Um, it took off, and it flew pretty good, and everybody was like, that's cool, and all of a sudden, that went... Just started spinning? Did it start spinning and doing it on spinning, its own? Spinning, almost taking everybody out. And then it did a crash, and I guess it, it started chasing you guys because <laughs> it kept running? <laughs> Until the belt broke. Okay, so... so that was a version, too. This is a new uh, Flywing V... Uh, That's the version three. You got version right? three. Okay. So in a short, guys, uh, the bottom line was when we looked at the inside of his helicopter because he thought he horsed the battery in there wrong or something, and I looked at there and, and, and you know they had the cables tucked and stuff and you can't really get the the wires and stuff with the battery, you know, with the tray and everything the way it works. So I looked in there real close and they had the factory had installed the cable uh, around the motor and hadn't pulled it out of the way enough so that motor even though it was flying and doing fine it was rubbing on the wiring and sooner you know after what you only flew it a few times right yeah he i mean maybe three or four flights on that thing he had you know five minutes each maybe tops right and uh so it, maybe a total of 20 minutes on the on the thing altogether, yep. and it burned through the wires and it went it went south it went south yeah <laughs> it took a nose dive without further ado without yeah this. so we'll go we'll get down to the opening of this thing here um, this one's supposed to be pretty cool because it's well anyways uh this is how it came doesn't have a cable problem i on just that cut GPS that open thing. but it's all nice nothing damaged box looks good and when it first got here, I thought you got the green one, because it says green there. Well, we don't know what's in there. And uh, and then I looked at it a little bit closer, and it's marked on the box, it, you know, the options. There's an orange option, I guess, on it. it the box says... Oh, it, this says... Uh, it says whiter. <laughs> whiter? Whiter. That's Chinese. Ready to fly. Ready to fly. Whiter, orange, or <laughs> green. How much whiter can you get? Got two white guys here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's racist. You can't do I that on YouTube. It. And then we got one brown dog. Oh, one, one big brown dog. Hey, Willie, say hi. He says, What's he got? He's got the squeaky ball, don't you? Huh? Yeah. All right, you want to see what comes out? Oh, look at that. And out comes the case. How cool. And that says... So much nicer than, you know, the box. I mean, the other one, it just came in a box. The box was good. It was packaged pretty well, but... It says uh, Flywing on it. This is fancy, actually. It does not just like foam, either. It's kind of like a... It's almost like a gun case. Yeah. Oh, foam. Sorry. Got me. I didn't okay. mean it. That's sorry. okay. Well, there you go. Look at that. Nicely packaged. You got your charger. Oh, oh look at that. Sweet. Nice. Oh, okay. Dude. I think, I think mine just came with a screwdriver that comes with a whole darn hex kit. That's kind of cool. Oh, man, feel this. That's, <laughs> that's heavy. Is that, that's heavier than the first one, isn't it? I think the battery is probably in it. Is the battery huge? We got the first one with the, uh, they had supposedly 5,200, but oh, I don't that, think they were. a 5,000. And this is a 5,000. That's and that's cool. that's got to be a two. That's got to be a third bigger than the one we got. Look at how that opens and or it plugs right in there. Oh, and the power directly from. Okay, here guys, check this out. Where the other one had a pigtail, the other the other ones have a pigtail coming out of the ESC. This one plugs directly into the ESC. That's cool. I like that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Less wires to snag and come loose and, and tear. I like that idea. I like the, the hood. What else we got? Uh, got radio. Is that the quick release up here? That, no, 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 I wish just, it was. Oh, they're not, huh? 
I thought they were going to put the quick release on the uh, the new ones. It's got a one-way bearing. No? Maybe some of the new ones are getting the quick release. I don't know. But yeah, that's a hard plastic. Oh, I like that too. Shell. Oh, and it comes with a blade, blade, blade holder. Cool. Oh, what else we got? Instructions. Now I wondered if you have to. Uh, do you have to calibrate this one or? I'm not sure because we can go back and forth on that one. Oh, look at this. Uh, so it comes with a quick start guide. Radio. Feel that. Is it, that boom a little bit different too, isn't it? I think it's longer. It's longer and I think it's it's redesigned. Say. It's a different kind of a different shape, isn't it? Say. Hold on, let me grab one of the other ones real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, that's... Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Yeah, it's a little bit different. This is where it's got the ribbed design. This one's longer. This, that is a little bit longer, isn't it? Just a... Well, it's about the same. It's about the same. Yeah, maybe. The motors are different, though. Motors are different. That looks like a smaller motor, but a bigger blade. Smaller motor, bigger blade, and... And the GPS ain't on there. Weird, weird tips on the end. Right? Yeah. It's probably for the noise, because they were doing something about the noise and that. stuff. Um, also, I researched this, and this will accept a 6S battery. It'll go... Yes. What, 3S through 6S, huh? 4S to 6. A 4S to 6S. They said this. Just pops in. Bada bing, bada boom. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's a big helicopter. Pretty cool. And anyway, here's the original one here, guys. Oh, yeah, uh, and this one is direct drive and no belt drive. This one is, it's got a belt. It, well, oh. it's, no, oh. it's got a, oh, it is, a, it's a direct drive. Oh. It is direct drive, no belt. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's cool, guys. Check that out. Direct drive on this one. This one used to have a belt. plastic spool. Thank on God it. the belt broke before plastic it killed us yeah, now getting to uh, what I was talking about here, guys. See if I can get a decent shot in here at at this. I got to pull the let me pull the battery tray out so we can see it. Anyway, if you see, you look at the back of this ESC and the wires that go down under the motor and in there. When you go underneath and you get a look at down in there let's see if I can get the camera in there try to get a good angle here for you guys all right you can kind of see down here in the corner over here up in the right hand corner you see that shiny thing that's wire that got exposed by the turning of this motor see the motor turned and it was rubbing on the wiring in there so check that guys uh, the result was uh, not good. was not good Bad things happen. So we're hoping that Mike gets to avoid that this time with this uh, with this new one. And we're going to get it together and give you guys a demonstration here. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Mike, you got anything to say? Um, no. Just I'm kind of looking forward to trying this out. All right. We'll see you guys.